What's good YouTube, Giants Fan 696 back here with a video today and today's video is going to be a breakdown of the Strong Handle badge in NBA 2K25. So Strong Handle, new badge added this year, reduces the likelihood of being bothered by defenders when dribbling. So what I did in this case is I took Harden and edited him to have the badge on bronze, silver, gold, Hall of Fame and Legend based on the attribute thresholds you would need in the builder. So on bronze, he will have a 60 ball handle and 60 strength. Silver, 67 ball handle and 65 strength. Gold, 73 ball handle and 73 strength. Hall of Fame, 77 ball handle and 84 strength. And Legend, 80 ball handle and 93 strength. And as usual guys, we'll kick it off with Harden with no strong handle, just under the bronze threshold where he will have 59 ball handle and 59 strength with no strong handle equipped. And the way we are going to test this guys is I actually gave Drew Holiday gold a movable enforcer, which is the counter strong handle. Just improves the defensive player strength when defending ball handlers and finishers. And I gave him that on gold. Just because if I think if you're to invest in strong handle, you want to at least be able to beat the counter to it on gold, right? Just kind of an average also too of where I think a lot of locks or defending type builds will be around. So his at gold, which means he has 84 perimeter and 85 strength. Um, so yeah, again, this is going to be pretty similar to my immovable enforcer test, but just in reverse where we're testing strong handle. So let's go ahead, get into it. Alright guys, a couple other things to keep in mind here is that this test, as usual, is done on Hall of Fame difficulty, high risk, high reward shooting, which doesn't matter for this, and that all of Harden's and Drew Holiday's other badges have been removed, so we'll purely see the effect of strong handle versus immovable enforcer here. And again guys, just keep in mind, kicking off here, Harden, no strong handle versus Drew Holiday at that gold immovable enforcer. Alright, first try here guys, again, we're just going to try to drive through him. And as you can see, unable to get anywhere near the basket. That is going to be an easy 0 for 1. Okay, we're going to call it a win for Harden if we're going to be able to push our way towards the basket. Um, you know. And we're not really going off if I make the shot or not, but if we're able to just kind of push through Drew to get to the basket. That's gonna be 0 for 1. I got completely walled up as you saw. Don't really expect much without strong handle, but you know, always gotta do it to get our baseline. So, all right, second try here. And absolutely walled up again. So that is going to be 0 for 2. Third try here, guys. And that's going to be 0 for 3 again, guys. Keep in mind, I am trying to drive him to the basket. And I'm getting absolutely walled off, up, getting pushed to the side. So that's going to be 0 for 3. Alright, guys. Fourth try here. And that is going to be 0 for 4. Again, trying to strong handle my way in there. But <clears throat> Drew's goal immovable force is too good right now. So that's 0 for 4. Last one here. And he makes me pick my dribble up immediately that time. So that's going to be 0 for 5. And I can already tell, guys, you're going to need strong handle on something. So let's go ahead to bronze now where Harden will have 60 ball handle and 60 strength with a bronze strong handle. All right, guys. So now Harden is at the bronze threshold for strong handle. Again, going up against gold and movable enforcer. We went 0 for 5 without the badge, which is kind of expected. So let's see if we're able to kind of get through him here to the basket um yeah let's just see how we look all right guys first try here and i just got absolutely walled up right there so that's going to be oh for one again guys keep in mind i'm trying to drive him towards the basket and simply just getting pushed around so that that is oh for one. Second try here and that, that this is yeah, and this is 0 for 2. Again, literally nowhere to go, and I'm blinking. Trying to get him to the basket so I could get a layup, but he, he Drew is simply not going for it, just bumping me, making me lose all my energy. So that's 0 for 2. All right, third try here. And absolutely bumped, picked up my, I had to pick up my dribble. That will be 0 for 3. And that will be 0 for 4. 
All right, last one here. And absolutely walled up again, guys. So that will be 0 for 5. So bronze looked very bad there. So let's go ahead now to silver strong handle where he'll have 67 ball handle and 65 strength with the badge on silver. All right, guys, so 0 for 5 with no strong handle and bronze strong handle again against this gold immovable enforcer. Let's hope that silver gives us, you know, some type of good result here. All right, first try here. And just look at Drew literally all up on me. And that is going to be 0 for 1, guys. All right, second try, guys. That's going to be 0 for 2. Again, maybe this gold immovable enforcer is just simply too good, but we are having no success with Harden getting by or not being bothered by anyone with his strong handle badge. So that's 0 for 2. All right, third try here. And absolutely walled up again, forcing me to pick up my dribble. So that's going to be 0 for 3. All right, guys, fourth try here. And getting absolutely bumped everywhere, and I'm blinking. So that is going to be 0 for 4. Last one here, guys. And Drew Holiday forced me to pick up my dribble again. That is 0 for 5, and silver is still not looking good. So we will head over to gold strong handle now, where I will have 73 ball handle and 73 strength. Hopefully we could do something against this gold removable enforcer. It might just be too good right now, though. Alright guys, so we are 0 for 5 up to this point. Nothing's been looking good against this gold immovable enforcer, but now it's gold versus gold. So let's see if we have some type of success here. Alright, first one here guys. And Drew Holiday absolutely still not letting me get to the basket. Promise I'm trying to get to the basket. And that's going to be an 0 for 1 as he pit makes me pick the ball up with a shot clock violation. That will be 0 for 1. All right, second try here, guys. And Drew Holiday absolutely bumping me still. And that's going to be an easy 0 for 2. Third try here. And look how quick he makes me pick the ball at that time. So that's going to be 0 for 3. I mean, guys, this is just this is just looking terrible. That's going to be 0 for 4. Either strong handle is terrible, or Moomo Forcer is just too good. That's how I'm feeling right now. So that's 0 for 4. Last one. Again, bro, there's just nowhere to go. And we will finish 0 for 5 on gold. So yeah, I mean, this is pretty surprising. We can't get anything going against gold and Moomo Forcer. So let's go ahead now to Hall of Fame. Strong handle, we'll have 77 ball handle and 84 strength and see if we can finally get something going here. All right guys, 0 for 5 up to this point with everything against this gold immovable enforcer. But now we're at Hall of Fame strong handle. Let's see if we can finally get something going or if it's going to be more of the same. All right guys, first try here. Trying to push him. And he makes me pick up my dribble. So that's going to be 0 for 1. All right, guys, second try here. Drew Holiday making me pick up my dribble yet again. So that's going to be 0 for 2. Third try here. And Drew Holiday absolutely still walling me up. That is going to be 0 for 3. Again, still not getting close enough where we could even shoot a layup really again we want to be able to kind of bully him towards the hoop and we are not we're getting bumped and losing all our energy so that's 0 for 3. and he makes me pick up my dribble again so that's 0 for 4. last one here look at drew Hada. trying and again, that's a clear 0 for 5, just nowhere to go. We might be just setting a record for 0 for 5s this video, but all strong handle just went 0 for 5 versus gold and movable enforcer. So, so we're gonna go to legend now where Harden will have 80 ball handle and 93 strength. 
and hopefully we could do something against this gold removal enforcer again literally zero to five on every tier up to this point all right guys so this gold removal enforcer is looking extremely good right now um, we have went 0 for 5 on every single tier but now we're at legend strong handle so i don't know let's see it would logically make sense that immovable enforcer doesn't stop us on gold versus legend strong handle but i can say the same thing for hall of fame strong handle and it stopped us every time so let's just see what happens first try here guys and we are finally able to go right by drew holiday without getting bumped 3,000 times. So that is going to be one for one. All right guys, second try here. And just look how hard and doesn't even get bothered by him at all that time. Able to literally run right through him. That will be two for two. Third try here. And again, not bothered at all. That will be three for three. Fourth try here. And again, Harden just bullying his way through him there. So that's four for four. And guys, this legend strong handle is finally what we've been looking for this test. Definitely abusing this gold immovable enforcer right now. Last one here. And right by him. So we finished five for five. So legend strong handle just looked very good versus that gold immovable enforcer. So I will actually kick up Drew Holiday to have Hall of Fame immovable enforcer at 89 perimeter and 91 strength. Again, going up against that Legend Strong Handle to kind of see what that looks like. All right, guys, so Legend Strong Handle just absolutely killed Gold Immovable Enforcer going five for five. So now we are going up against Hall of Fame Immovable Enforcer. And yeah, we're just gonna see how it looks if we're gonna get stopped again, like we did most of the video, or if we're gonna be able to, to kind of blow by Drew Holiday or kind of go through him for an easy lane. First try here. And we are right by him, so that is going to be one for one. Second try here. And he bumps me, stopping me there, making me pick up my dribble, so that's going to be one for two. So first time Legend Strong Handle has been stopped. All right guys, third try here. And Harden absolutely pushes him off him that time. So that will now be two for three. All right guys, fourth try here. Drew Hade is absolutely bumping me this time. And we are going to run out of energy, I believe. Yeah, so that is that's is going to be an easy win for Drew Hade. We are now two for four. All right, guys, last try here. Drew Hade looks like he is bumping me. Oh, yeah, and he makes me pick up my dribble. So we finished two for five there. So, guys, just to recap, we started off with Drew Holiday at gold, a movable enforcer. And... No strong handles, bronze, silver, gold, and Hall of Fame strong handles all went 0 for 5 versus that. Then Legend strong handle went 5 for 5 versus gold immovable enforcer. So then I kicked up Drew Holiday to Hall of Fame immovable enforcer where Legend strong handle went 2 for 5 versus that. So honestly, this is going to be a pretty simple analysis. For this badge, I think you'd have to go Legend to see any reward out of it. Again, I picked gold immovable enforcer as a baseline to go against and I don't and none of the other tiers could, you know, move it at, move Drew Holiday with a gold immovable enforcer towards the basket at all. So I just wouldn't see a reason to go bronze, silver, gold, Hall of Fame, or without the badge. So I would say you'd have to go legend, unfortunately, where you would need an 80 ball handle and a 93 strength. And again, that will only even work against gold, immovable enforcer, and lower. Because um, we went two for five against Hall of Fame Movable Enforcer, so you can only imagine if they had Legend and Movable Enforcer. So, yeah, Movable Enforcer just seems to be like a very good badge this year. Definitely better than Strong Handle, tier for tier. So, yeah, I would say to get any reward out of this badge, you'd have to go Legend or just avoid Strong Handle in general. I'm fine with either of those two options, but wouldn't go anything below Legend for this badge. So, appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Let me know down below which badge I should break down next. Check me out on Twitch. I've been streaming a lot of my team improving grounds content on there and I'm out.